Huge crowds would make their pilgrimage to Gosh's paddock to watch the pies prepare for that one day in September. There would be the traditional grand final parade with more than 140,000 fans packing the centre of the city for one last glimpse of their heroes. Rival skippers Nick Maxwell and Nick Rewalt both holding the cup, both laying claim to the most precious silverware in the land. Collingwood had announced two changes, with Simon Prestigiacomo and Leon Davis back in the side at the expense of Goldsack and Nathan Brown. But when Nick Maxwell let his pies out, Brown had regained his place. Presty would be looking on. This is the big game. Sure. And St Kilda played in the big game last yep. year. That's got to make them more battle-hardened. So we saw Prestigiacomo there, Lee. Was that just a ruse, do you think? Well, that's a good question. I mean, I guess we'll find out after the game. The rumour mill saying he got a bit sore in a groin yeah. after his last training session. Okay. So I guess after the game we might know whether it was a ruse or it was just basically a uh, soreness. It's quite remarkable yeah. you hear about the uh, preliminary final being the main two teams, but this is, this is extraordinary. I mean, there's no doubt this first quarter always important. Go the Nick. coin toss. This is Mark, mate. Oh. Nick, it's your call. Whenever you're ready, Mark, give it a good one. Heads. No, mate. Wait, Nick. Come. All good. <laughs> and the battle of the Knicks is won by Nick Maxwell. Schneider. Moving up initially on Maxwell. Kuzetsky and Reed. The house full sign is up. Dawson and Clark. And away we go. The grand final is underway. Gardner has to wait. Up goes Jolly. Hooks it down behind. Guess who? Swan down towards half forward. Bounces inside the 50. Storming up the ground. Cloak missed it. Doors has got it. Gilt got him. Pendlebury is through. Over the top. Will it sit to Dodak? Takes him away from goal. Feeds it back to Jolly. Oh, oh! No side of the Jolly Rebels. He puts it through. Now, can Milne turn Johnson inside out? When your name's Ben Johnson, you're quick, aren't you? And that's a beautiful handball to Reed. It was a lovely take and a well-weighted kick to Pendlebury, who started well, as he did last week. McCaffer, good hands, and then quickly onto a one-on-one. -on -one. Dawes is good overhead. Well done, Gwilt. But it got away, and Blair, what a story. The only guy on the rookie list kicks the goal. Lines it up and then floats one to full four. Oh, almost a brilliant mark by McCaffer, Gilbert on him, is that out on the fall? It's in dangerous hands too, isn't it? Yep. Didac. Not beyond him. About as tough as it gets for a left footer. Oh. Oh. For some. Chips it out wide. Swan's been terrific in the early going. The favourite for the Norm Smith goes towards the 50. Running hard is Thomas. They're putting on a clinic at the moment. It'll take a very good kick from here. Dyadak a marvellous kick moments ago. Gardner is the big man lurking behind for the Saints. In he comes. Goes for the spiral. Well, it's untidy, but I think it's good. Oh, this could be a magpie day. This could be a magpie day. So Grant couldn't mark it. This is Reed. Always in a marking contest. You've got to pay the quality you're marking against. Well done there by Shaw. Gardner, the big man, was bearing down from one knee. Shaw, Pendlebury, ball under pressure, did brilliantly. Now Brown looks inside the forward 50. Cloak is favoured by the kick. Dawson, not sure what he was thinking there. But he is a very strong contested mark for the coin of football club. This man has his days. <laughs> Needs to be on. Needs to kick this one. Needs to kick start himself, but he does. Splits the middle. A brilliant opening. The Pies fame pressure giving them the break. And by halftime, the lead had blown out to 24 points. A little chip, short one. Finds Baron Ray. Feeds it across towards Eddie. He's in trouble. Taken down from behind. McCaffer goes. Oh, and the kick arrived. 50 metre penalty. But even a worse error was the kick away Straight by away. Perrin Ray. I mean, that's made a possible goal into a certain goal. McCaffer, another one of those players you get the feeling Michael Malthouse really likes. And he comes, kicks the goal. And suddenly they skip away again. Margin out to 14. 
Gardner falls down. Jolly goes over the top. Brown deep in the pocket. Gets boot to ball. Coming back. Dempster is that holding it? He had a long time. Peak did well. Gave it to Goddard. Clears the zone. Johnson knocks it down. Harry lines up. Harry O'Brien heads for goal. And he's got it. The cult figure. A goalless third quarter and then a real grand final epic. A last quarter that had everything. Wilt's been handy so far in this turn. Del Santo tackled from behind ball up. It's always a dangerous hand pass in the Collingwood forward line. The one backwards oh, yeah. is they just swarm so far. You've just got to get it going forward. So Collingwood pressing. Building forward Lee Brown. Davis and Dempster. Davis! Well, this would be ironic. He's made a mark on the big stage. Nick Maxwell superb in the air and on the ground. Maxwell tracking it back, touching it right on the chalk. Watch it again for a moment. It looks gone. He does brilliantly. What about the, the will of Lenny Hayes? Yeah. Yeah. Nick of time indeed. Nick's all round. Rebound kicked it. Capable of the miracle. Dianak goes out wide. Taken by side bottom, side bottom looks down towards half forward. Nobody near this man. McCaffer runs to the 50, sets it up. Shaw will fly from behind. Almost got hands to it. Spills out the back. Clark, Clark has kicked the goal. Mike plays back in front. Got out the target. O'Brien. Here we go. One Hayes. One. Hayes. Hayes belting the ball forward. Johnson quickly off the mark. Milner at best. Ball bouncing. Oh, oh. Scores a level. Oh no. oh, no. What are you doing next week? Gee whiz. Oh. Out to shore. We had a draw in 1948 and a draw in 1977. Graham Hart at it. Blair. And the oh. it's a short name. Huge play by Graham. He left his opponent, McCaffrey, to make Ooh. the uh, oh. out number. If the ball went over the top, the pies are away. All St Kilda were trying to do was force it through yeah. from that 30 metres out. Great defence by Collingwood. Have we ever spent two hours at the MCG like this before? I don't think so, Bruce. Montagna kicks no, inside yeah. the 50, punched out. Pendlebury's over the football, down to 15 seconds. Collingwood, though, controlling the ball. Thomas to the wing. Jolly knocked away by Blake. There it is. Oh, in. Oh, I think we've got to draw, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. One last clearance, one last chance. Can somebody get a clear ball here and kick it long and hard? Goddard, the tap, Del Santo, it's going to be a draw, it's unbelievable, but it's happened. <laughs> so for the third time in 113 years, the grand final would end with scores deadlocked. Dazed, exhausted, spent, the players just sat there, if anything an anti-climax. But as the president, Eddie Maguire, would say in the hours that followed, this was half time in the grand final of 2010. The AFL hurriedly made rule changes. There would be no replay if the replay was drawn. Extra time would be enforced. Cloak would take a share of the inaugural Jack Collins medal for his two goals as the equal leading goal scorer on the ground. But the stars for the Pies were Dale Thomas and the skipper Nick Maxwell.